Hi, this is Dana with Password Reset, and I am here to take you through the entire process of removing your password um, from downloading, creating, and running the software, and this is for version 4.5. So just follow closely. Um, it's a very simple process, and just don't skip ahead because we don't want you to miss any of the important things. So with that, let's get going. Hi, this is Dana, and I'm back here now for to show you how to create our version 4.5 and we're going to do it on a uh, USB drive but you can do it on a CD and you'll see that it's the same download for both so it's a lot simpler. Um, what you want to do first of all is go to the download page and the instructions and then um, you'll see here it just says version 4.5 USB or CD so that means it's the same file. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that and then the first thing we're going to do is expand these instructions and then like our other one, uh, it's just uh, downloading the file for starters, so we're going to click it. And with uh, Chrome, uh, we do uh, want to try to put the file onto the desktop so it's an easy place to find it when we're ready to run it. And um, with Chrome, it puts it at this download little thing at the bottom, which is real convenient, so here it is downloading. Now, this is a, a larger file than our original version, so it does take a little time. Usually five minutes um, I've seen it download in a minute or you know so with a uh, fast internet connection or um, you know it could take five to six minutes or so I'm a little far away from my router so it's gonna take us about ten minutes here it may speed up all of a sudden but um, just to avoid the time uh, um, waiting around we're gonna go ahead and just uh, say that that's done downloading and then what we would do is just scoot it over here to the desktop so we're done with that we're not gonna download anymore and here's our 4.5 version and you just go ahead and uh, double click it to get it going. Now with this version it's going to launch. It's, well if you first get a security warning if you do just say yes. You want to go ahead and run it. It's safe. And then you'll notice on this one that you have the options of USB or CD. So in this case we're going to do the USB. It's a bit quicker. It uh, does boot faster and so forth. So if you can use that that's great. Um, can use pretty much any drive size and then when you're uh, when you insert it just go ahead and uh, if anything pops up you can close it and then from the difference between CD and USB we want to choose the USB and then just verify that your drive is where you uh, it should be which we know it's under F and right now it's still formatted with our old 3.0 version so it's still got the name there but what we're going to do is we're just going to say begin copying and it's just warning us that there's files on there and do we want to erase them? Not a problem. So we're just going to say erase. Um, you do want to back it up on a, you know, another um, computer or something if you do need the files on it before you do this. But, um, and then we just confirm it, yes. And same thing would be with the uh, CD. You just put the CD in and click just basically the same we just did. And uh, CD does take a little bit longer so I try to use the USB like I said. And it starts with the formatting and you got a zero percent here and then it pretty much flies along once it gets going kinda depends on how fast your computer is but we're at uh, twenty percent right now so should be done very shortly and just keep in mind um, the size of the drive does have a little bit to do with how fast it formats and stuff so if you have a larger drive um, you might have to wait a little more but ours is an eight gig and it's a good size to use and we're at eighty nine and just about there and done. So now you'll see it says disk completed. Uh, it says up here too has been created successfully. Now it says start over. We're just going to close it. We don't need to start over or anything. And then just to be sure everything went as planned, we just click open up like a you know my computer or a computer depending on what it is on your computer. And then I'm going to go down here to computer, and then you'll see our drive here. And now it's named it properly. PW reset. It's the F drive. And I'm going to open it. Just take a quick peek. And these are the files you should see in it. And you'll see that one says, it's an icon file, it says password reset or PW reset. So you'll know you're looking at the right thing. It's got a license in there and so forth. So now all we do is go ahead and just close that. And we're going to take our drive out. And now we're ready to take it over to the computer with the uh, forgotten password and remove the password. So we'll see you there. Hey, this is Dana, and I'm back here now to show you how to run your uh, version 4.5 of Password Reset and remove the password here on this Windows 8 machine. Um, as you can see, we have our user. This is our main user that has all the rights and so forth, and we want to log in. And when I try to log in with the password, I'm pretty sure it is. 
it won't let me log in. So now I'm, I've created our version 4.5, which works great for Windows 8. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the slot here. And then we're going to reboot the machine. Now our BIOS needs to be set so that it boots from the USB. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shut it down rather than restart it just so I can get my timing together. And as soon as it's off. Now this is a Sony machine and like a lot of other machines it uses F2 to go into the BIOS. And um, with newer uh, machines running Windows 8 um, they call it the UEFI instead of the BIOS and they're a little trickier so you might want to go to the uh, website's uh, BIOS page. There's a link on the uh, instruction page to it and it's got a bunch of examples and videos and so forth for um, learning how to do that. So we're getting close here as soon as it shuts down. Alright, so now I'm going to turn on the machine. I'm going to get ready to hit F2 because it doesn't tell me when to hit it. So as soon as the splash screen comes up, I'm going to go ahead and hit F2. I tapped it a few times and there it goes. And this is our BIOS here and I just want to go right over and look for boot. So I see boot there. And you'll notice you have USB hard disk drive and all these different things. Um, uh, internal hard disk drive is what would be at the top normally if it's going to boot from the hard disk drive. So this one's been, been changed. But um, what we want to do is we just want to make sure that the hard disk drive is below you know everything USB is ahead of it because we're not 100% sure which one is going to boot USB. There's a hard disk drive one and there's an optical drive. You would think it's optical drive but I just happen to know on this machine that is it refers to it as the USB hard disk drive. So we're looking at that. Everything's good. It's all above the hard drive so it's not going to go to Windows. It's going to go to my, my software and I'm just going to hit F10 to make sure those changes are in effect and say yes. And I don't need to touch anything. It's set to boot from the USB and it should go right to it. So we're just going to sit back and... Now, keep in mind, this 4.5 is based off of Windows instead of DOS like my old version. So it is going to look like Windows is starting when actually this is my software starting. It's Windows starting, which my software runs off of. So don't get confused and think that you're, uh, you know, you're just booting back into Windows again. So, and you'll see that it's flickering on a little light on the USB drive, so that kind of tells you. But it should look a little different than your normal login. So this is where it really starts to look like it's just booting into Windows. But you'll see here in a second. And get past this. And but um, also, if you use the CD version, this takes a little bit longer. So if you can go with USB, it is nice because this takes um, not quite as long as a CD does. They uh, USBs read and write faster than a CD, so it just goes a little quicker. Okay, so here we are, and now you'll see there's, obviously this isn't your Windows. If you're on your computer, you can tell it's not. The desktop says password reset up there and all that stuff. And then we're just waiting for the icons to show up. So we're not quite there yet, but I do have mouse control. And once it's done, now you notice it's kind of small and uh, crammed in there. Um, you can, if you want, you can actually go to the uh, personalized screen at the bottom here, just like on any Windows machine, and you can... Um, change your uh, resolution. Actually on this machine it would be under screen resolution. Sorry about that. And then you would just change it from like here. I usually just go to the highest. Apply it. And if it looks good just keep the changes. And now we're going to close this window and now we have a much nicer screen to look at. So if you want to do that that's great. If you want to work off the little screen and you can read it that's fine too. So now what we have to do from here is go ahead and run password reset which is right here. Simple to find. Just double click it. There's even a little um, quick guide over here that tells you how to do things. And I'm going to move this up in the middle just to get it up here a little um, away from the edge. And um, what we're going to do is, you'll notice that the open is, is grayed out here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but basically I can't click on it. And we need to open this file here to see the usernames. That's the, you know, what we need to do. And uh, we don't want to, you know, you don't want to buy the key or pay for anything until that works. So what we're going to do is, and it does tell you this over here on this little cheat sheet here too, and there's also a help here that has the complete instructions as well. And you just want to check your other drives. Now I happen to know that that E is the drive on this, and another way you can tell is if you hit computer, it'll bring up your drive, and you'll see that local disk E is 157 gigabytes. So I can tell that's actually my my Windows version and sometimes we'll say OS for operating system or it may even say Windows or something but I can tell by that list that it's E but the best way to find out is just to take your C 
and highlight the C. Yeah, I can highlight it by doing that, or I can go after it and then backspace. Whatever I do, I just want to get rid of the C only, nothing else, and just put a D. And it's okay if it's smaller case. And you'll notice, give it just a second or two, that open didn't um, become clickable. And now I'm going to go to E, which I do know, like I said. And it took a second, but it kind of slowly um, became clickable. So we know E is the right drive, and we just hit open. Now we've got our usernames. And you will see that Joe user is the one that we want to get in. It's right there. Very simple. Click on it to highlight it and remove password will become active. We go ahead and just click on it. And now it's going to ask for the activation key. So here's where we're going to go ahead and type in the activation key. And you need to purchase your activation key at this point. We don't want you to uh, purchase anything before this. Everything's free to download and try. Once you reach this point, the software is guaranteed to work. And we know you're you know, home free from there. So now it's safe to go ahead and buy your key and get back into your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and put the key in. We don't want you to see it, so we're going to pan over a little ways. And then I'm going to type the key in real quick. And then I'm going to just hit OK on this. And then it just takes you back to this window. So, you know, at this point, you know that it's been um, removed, and you just want to go ahead and hit Save Changes. Okay. So you really didn't um, see anything. You know, confirm your password's been changed. So you just have to make sure you go through these steps. And by doing those steps, and then hitting Save Changes, we know everything's in place. So uh, if you want to reset another password, you could, but really just want to reset the one. And then we just go ahead and exit. That's it. You're done. And so all we want to do now is just reboot the machine. So I'm going to go over here to shut down. Double click on it. And it lets you uh, choose. If I had the CD in here, you can eject the CD so it wouldn't start the CD again. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, have it not eject the CD since we don't need it to eject it. We're using the USB. And then I'm just going to hit restart. Now I could pull this out too. Um, beforehand because we don't want it to boot back into that so be sure to take your drive out as well if this gets left in it's going to boot back up to my windows um, program which runs the password reset and we don't want to do that so now you can see this is windows 8 so it's real obvious that the uh, right operating system is loading now we just have to wait for it to go through the boot up process which actually doesn't take too long on this machine If you did happen to uh, notice that it was booting up and it looked more like the, when it looks when mine runs, you know, you may need to remember to oh, double check and see that you did uh, take it out. And also, mine will uh, it'll remind you to, that it's going to eject the, the CD, and that's a good time to remember to uh, pull this out. Okay, now this has an earlier version of Windows on it as well, so I'm just going to click Windows 8 to be sure it boots up into the right one. And there is a couple other uh, users on this machine, so. Let's see where it goes to. Here we go. Getting real close now. And Windows 8 does tend to jump to the user that you um, used last, so because there was no password any longer, it's going to go ahead and log in. So we couldn't get in before. We removed the password, and now it went straight in. Now I have full control of the computer, and if I want to hit Control Alt Delete and change a password, I could put a password back in again. And um, we'll just go ahead and leave the password off um, in that case, and just go back to the Task Manager, and then uh, I think we can just escape out of that, and we're good. We got our desktop and everything else we need to work on the machine. So. That's it. It's as easy as that. Um, like I said, you may have uh, little different circumstances with the BIOS or the UEFI interface for logging or getting the drive to boot correctly. So um, there's a page on that, and I can also answer any questions you might have and so forth. So um, that should get you going, and uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll hopefully uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.